Okay, now all of a sudden I feel two drip, one colour, and I fling up on the, on the flatbed. Mm-hmm. The rock foot man, I'm not fling me up on the... <laughs> Jesus, please. <laughs> Kitty, I've never entertained a crowd before. Yes, that was your first time. Bossy, yeah, yeah, when I see the crowd, it's black from way down a Martin gas station, go all the way to Mount View, them have a black off the road where people fill up the place. Yes. I say, Lord, God, what me I got to know? take you down memory lane back in the good old days and rekindle those nostalgic memories one of my favorite professor nuts songs of all time and i know that the professor nuts fans are on instagram they are on facebook live and they are on youtube and they're also listening in radio land professor nuts good afternoon and welcome how are you I am fine. Oh, God. I just <laughs> to say good afternoon to all the listeners out there and thank you, Miss Kitty, to have me on this platform tonight. I yeah. mean, today. Yeah. Uh, this afternoon because I'm so much of a night person. Everything at night. I, everything at night. Yes. I got to tell you. And you know, as creatives, we're always out in the night, night. you know? Yes. We sleep uh, on the air. Yes. Yeah, are out at night. We're like nocturnal creatures. So That's I got to tell call you. It, yeah, rat bat. Rat, rat bat. <laughs> Yeah. Well, I got, you know, when you hear the voice, you're not just one voice, another Dan voice, Professor Nuts. And I got to mm-hmm. tell you, uh, mm-hmm. one of those um, artists in reggae music, in dance hall, that has cemented his craft, has made a name for himself, created a niche for himself by combining comedy with social commentary and just a unique style and sound that made him so distinctive and a standout individual and somebody that has impacted the lives of so many artists as they say that he is their inspiration. He's my guest right here on Miss Kitty Live and of course he was my party on Magnum Kings and Queens of Dance Hall for 11 years. So I would see him him every Saturday night. He was my Saturday night date on Magnum Kings and Queens. Now, Professor, you know, um, wow, that's nice. as I say, it's nice to see you, my friend, mm-hmm. and it's nice to, and I'm happy that you're well and yes. here uh, to share with us. But we want to know your business, so we're good on memory lane because, you know, a lot of times we w- not enough people see you on stage mm-hmm. and them see the finished product, yeah. but we want to know where nuts come from. Oh, nuts come by the name Professor Nuts, because at first you were Disco Nuts. Mm-hmm. Hey, hey! Boy, I I got, my, yes, Disco my, Nuts. My business is really gone nationwide. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet Definitely. Rugo Speck. Rugo Speck. Just like that. So oh, talk to me now, Nuts. Where yes. did you... Well, first of all, even before Disco Nuts, mm-hmm. where were you born? Where did you grow up? I was... um When you're when you, when you born a yard, when them say you're you never born um in the hospital, them say you was what? Home delivery? Home delivery. Yeah. Never ever get to reach hospital. Anyway, I I born at seven a Onsted Road. Okay. Yes, and um, that was nineteen sixty one. Mhm. Mhm. And now I am sixty one year old. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I don't pass that. Yes. But, uh, no, I'm so rich, rather. But anyway, um, I was born in Rockford area. And um, growing Rockfort, 
and um, now reside in Portmore. But yes. you know, I have a little grew, um, grew up in other country with a grandmother. So you know, yes. so we, we have to have that part of our life. Yeah. You understand? Cemented and parish? In Clarendon. Okay. You know, so you have to have that grandmother part cemented because yeah. if you never go to that grandmother, you don't know when you're brought up. So yeah, true, true, mm -hmm. true, true. And I was even adopted one at a time. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. um, from about five years old till I was about ten. Which, yeah. And that was good. That's where I used to go to the school named Central Branch. And okay. So you moved back to Kingston? New, yes. Okay. All right. From country back, back to, to town. Kingston. Yes. You, you understand me? So I was up and down. Okay. And um, in what, 19, I think it was 1970. 74, um, my mother went abroad. Yes. And we were just told to pick the way up and down the place. And now we go see. We, you, you understand me? Yes. You know, and growing up, you know, I had a tough life as a youth growing up because. Although my father was around, you know, that is now, them is, them is more looking where the next dollar coming from, mm -hmm. you know. And then we have this like a free time as picking his yes. name, my brother and my sister, we're up and down, we go see. And that doesn't mean that we never usually go to school. Yes. But, you know, we was kind of free like. Yes. You know, that's going through the 70s. Now, when it reached 1980, boom, mama died. Mm -hmm. She died in Baltimore. Mm, sorry about that. And that was a little before 19, um, 1970. Um, it was 1979, Christmas. Yes. She died a little before the Christmas. And by 1980, Easter, my father died. Oh, wow. So back to back. That how did that affect you? And how did you manage? You know, that's why I'm a total madman. Yeah, <laughs> you know, me cry for not <laughs> so, Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes, it really affected me. Um, bad, you know, knowing that you don't have no parents, no nobody to run to, no, no little mommy or daddy comfort. But, you know, we stand strong. Yes. We had to press on. How many brothers and sisters? I have four sisters and three brothers. Okay. That is eight of us. Yes. Two died. The smallest daughter died and the biggest brother died. Mm -hmm. So the rest of us still carrying on. Yes. You know, and I, in the 80s now, that early 80s now, you know, not working as a young youth, you know, you can't get no work, no, no unemployed. Mm hmm I said, I'm you know. Mm hmm not thief. I'm not thief, you know, me not, I could have. Yes. But, I remember in Rockford, you know, I rode with that, you know. Mm hmm I said, I'm not a thief. So I started going to see, you know, when I catch me little fish and sell them people out of a view and push me shrimps and sell them. Mm. I said, but something can come out of this. Yes. You know, push me yes. little shrimp, selling them people. So, no, so you no were friend. industrious from a very early age right. and decided to take the right path the right and not path go down the wrong road. Go down the wrong road. Yes. Because, um, when you're in Rockford, you know, you you you, you can be recruited yeah. to be. So I said, no. You know, I, I went as far as, you understand, the doorstep, right to the door of yes. that life. And I said, no, 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 I don't think this is something. And I turned right back, boom, and start dance. Something to free my mind from all of that. You know, I try to ignore that. Bam! The dancing work with on disco not no. Yeah, disco not. So who gave you that name? Because how did Carl Wellington become any kind of nut nuts at all? Yeah, nuts. I was so bad in the dancing. Them said that I'm nuts in it. That's yeah, a, that's the guys on the corner. <laughs> I am. I, I did some some something. You wonder if. Man can broke up them weird and yes. so everybody said, Boy, I'm a bad them weird. So yeah, nuts in it. So yes. they call me disco nut crew. Anyway. Yes. Then from that now I start listening like a few little cassette. Them time they you know the yeah. little tall yes. so they press and they do a yes. fire up so yes. cassette man me get one of them little something and me start listening to some necodemus still because I like all that DJ sound. And yes. Eventually, I said, you know, let me try to write a lyrics. And I wrote something compatible to what he said, you know. 
parallel to it and I said, but it can work. He said, my wife and my sweetheart, no friend, I said, my wife and my sweetheart, no agree, make me hear it sound. So I patternized that, the whole of it and see how the paragraphs, yes. how the structure, how the ending, the, the rhymes, Oh, you know? Yes. Connect. I would like connect and I say, oh, that's how lyrics go. It's like it's like a, a story. Yes. Storytelling. In in a in a rhyme form. Yes. I say, okay. And I continue. And I start writing. Yes. But I was a bit nervous. Mm-hmm. You know, it's a new vocabulary. Right. You know, okay. <laughs> oh, oh, oh no, yeah. yeah. Yes. You know. It. Yeah. And I said, no, um, I don't think I could do this. Kitty. Me always a show off for my friend them at the bar and so them buy me drug and get drunk, go home, whatever. And then there was an opening in 19, um, 80, about 1985, mm-hmm. no, 84, 85, at, at the corner of, uh, 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 um, what do you call it? Uh, Lucas Road, between Lucas and mm. Oliver Road, Jack yes. Wang. Me stand up and watch the show. Barry G was there. Oh, about 15 to 18 artists he called up. Yes. Kitty, let me try to do this in a short span because you know why you watch it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, no, we're going to go to news, but we're going to come right back. Yeah. I know my listeners are just engrossed yeah. in the story yeah. uh, because you have told us so many stories so about different situations, but right. we're so interested this in one, your own story. Well, guess out. what? Hold your story right I there. Really uh, we're talking to Professor Nuts yeah. this afternoon, my very special guest right here on a Pepper Seed Thursday. He is my living legend and icon in reggae and dance hall music. And you know him for his wit. You know him for his comedy. You know him for his storytelling. And of course, him being so entertaining. Oh, Speck right here <laughs> on Miss Kitty Live <laughs> on Nation. Wide FM. And if you are a Professor Nuts fan, you need to call him and big him up and let him know. I believe in giving people their flowers while they're alive, while they're well, so that they can hear, so that they can know how valuable and how valued they are and how impactful their contribution has been on the music and our lives. I know many of us, when we are go through a little down time, or you might not in a one good mood, and when you hear one Professor Nuts, you can't help but laugh, you can't help but feel good. And he definitely has lifted our spirits over the years he's in my studio right here right now this is none other than miss kitty live on nationwide 90 fm it's your fluffy diva miss kitty hottest in the girl <laughs> miss kitty on your perfect afternoon show oh. my god lord of mercy why I can't take it no more? Me say, me show. In a de bus, in a de bus, ah ah. In a de bus, dem a kick up run for stress. In a de bus, in a de bus, ah ah. In a de bus, dem a fight and a fuss. Me hear one stop driver left me bad. Oh, me say D, your arm so mel bad. Hey, little boy, take in a de blue tag. Take your foot off of me can before me get mad. No de jokes that they come down with the money bag. I shout fiercely, still him so too tired. Here a gal ball out, only ten cent me up. Here a man up at the front, you know me just get. The rap. The doctor say what? The mini bus stop. The doctor hold the man and give the man couple stop. Fling him out of the bus, drop him on him neck back. Everybody find bus fear quicker for that way. In a the bus, in a the bus, eh eh. In a the bus, them a kick up rough bus, eh. In a the bus, in a the bus, eh eh. In a the bus, them a fight and a cuss me here. One stop driver, let me off. Hold on, Mr. D, your arm so mel bad. Hey, little boy, the in a the blue top. Take your foot off of me too before me get mad. I gotta tell you! Hello! <laughs> Professor Nuts right here on Miss Kitty yeah, Live! Yeah. Professor Nuts in the Real building! Oh man. my god! Rumor excitement! No, when you are an exciting artist, and I gotta tell you, it's my pleasure to have you in my studio today. Oh, Pepper Seed god, Thursday, you. living legend and icon, Professor Nuts in my studio right here on Nationwide 90 FM. Professor, this one in at the bus was also very iconic. Yes. And even though we don't reach to it yet, uh, you before the break, before the news, you took us to 
when you were performing in Rockfort yes. at the opening of a supermarket yes. and Barry G was there yes. at the opening and you performed at that particular stage show so, yes. um, at that time. Them, what what them, was that like? Them telling them have a sound in Wadat. Wadat, yes. Oh, Barry G sound, Wadat, yes. Yeah, man. I tell you, man, that time, um, the one says, spar with me. The one says, spar with me. Make me sure you're Barry G. Right? Yeah. No, I got it. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Um, while I was there in the, in the crowd looking up, seeing Barry G getting all these artists up and running them off stage, I said, something wrong. They know, they know none of them can win this competition. I never knew I was the baddest thing, you know. Yes. Them said self-praise is no recommendation, but me never know me did so bad. Yes. All right, them, them, Barry G said, okay finish it's it's um over mm -hmm. i never i heard that the wise men come from the heath and i've never came to the heath and hear a wise dj you know him talk already yes yes and I, I think i was there thinking all of a sudden i feel two drip one color and i fling up on the on the flatbed mm -hmm. the rock foot man i'm not fling me up on the <laughs> jesus please <laughs> kitty i've never entertained a crowd before yes that was your first time. Bossy, yeah, yeah, when I see the crowd, it's black from way down a Martin gas station, go all the way to Mount View, them have a black off the road where people fill up the place. Yes. I said, Lord God, what me I got to know? Barry G said, what are you here for? I said, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I don't know what I'm up there for. He said, you know you don't know, mash up the place, disconnect. He said, what's your name? I said, Disco Nuts. He said, you want to say something? You want to do something? I said, okay. Uh, let me try. I'm dead and still nervous. You know. Taxi. Not even introduction. Yes. Me just fly out a lyric to say, Boom! Do kono, do kono. Well, that a de call me el pono. Me say me mad da at the ball. Me granny had the beer. So vanilla nut no me got sugar face sweet no. With a little bit of flour and a bag of raisin. Them put it in a put no pan and fling it in a oven. Them <laughs> take it out when the beer put it down for adding. When the cool them get a knife and then cut it even. When me taste it, do kono me a fi a la. Mm hmm. Gunshot. <laughs> 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 Kitty. Oh, no. Kitty. Yes. When me hear bam 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 boom boom, yeah. them the time that the gun saluting they do. Oh wow. wow. Me hear bam bam. Me dive on the ground. Yeah. By yeah. <laughs> the flat bed. Yes. Lay down flat and wonder what's going on it. Yes. Me say Kitty. Right away me say weird. I did that. No. Urkel, did I do, do that? that? <laughs> <laughs> when we get up back, Barry G said no 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 no. Were you here? Do you have more where that came from? I said, yes. Kitty? I said, quick, quick, just brief. I said, well, this is a lyric, so I just take when the, the, um, the contest out by when Yellow Man run away after this. Yes. Stage. That night, I look at Yellow Man and say, me must catch you. Yes. So after that experience, Nuts, and you shelled the place at that time, mm -hmm. was that where you, what, would you say that was the day you decided that, listen, I want to be an artist. Artist. And no longer a dancer. Why? Because that moment, my adrenaline rush. Yes. You so talk that? to me now. So talk to me now. After that day now, mm -hmm. and the adrenaline rush, you mm -hmm. realize that you had what it takes, and you have what it yes. takes now to shell a place, to shell, to a shell place. an audience. Mm -hmm. How did you, and why did you? Because at that time, reggae was, you know, more about, you know, rebel music, right. social commentary. Mm -hmm. But you added a unique ingredient of the comedy. Right. Where did that come from? Right. In that time, then usually more listen to like Rankin Trevor Nicodemus, Ringo, them type of DJ, mm -hmm. uh, Louis Lepke, Welton Irish. It was like a stereophonic time. Yes. But I was topping it up a bit. Lyrically, we are trying to change the whole flavor of this wow chicka bow, you know, we can move on that business. Yes. And I said, no, there must be a way to break that yeah. ice. Yeah. And I started going more faster yeah i was the one who kind of pushed this lyrics thing yes. up more and yes notch. up the tempo yeah yeah for instance 
Shanty Junction, remember now one place right at the corner of Mountain View mm-hmm. where them build the ice cream place? Mm-hmm. Me say, me in a minivan I come, pe- them never hear them type of style and lyrics. Uh, me in a one minivan I come down Mountain View, sight a nice place and if it is right too, well designed, pan the top, that give me the clue, make me mouth, what a drop, like a when rain a jew, so, go in a deep hall, read the menu, yeah, could no other one, call me a fee by two. Be the girl around me, me a fee say, that we do, it was a girl in a deep hall, dress up in a full blue, a cone is something, you lick not to chew, girl will make you give me so much, support your boss, screw. <laughs> Hey, 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 hey. Ice cream, ice cream. See the yes. I'm DJing straight. All of a sudden, me just drop the vice. Boom. Yes, because you had that as well, not where you would do different inflections. Right. So your voice would dip or come up, or you so you do a soprano, right. or you do that kind of bass right. voice. And so you had in one song, yes. you gave us like three voices. Yes. And so that was something that you conceptualized on your own. Yes, why I love how you talk. So when you use a big word, I call me no man. I call me no man. But I me no say me vice. Yeah. 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 So what would you say is the song all right that gave you your big break and made Professor Nuts a household name? That's the song he just played a while. Yeah, in the boss. In the boss. Yeah. Oh, um Dongleman from Greenwich Farm, you know. Thank respect to him, you know. Makatam them call him otherwise. He was the one who produced that song. And when I put out that song, I didn't know it was going to reach anywhere. All of a sudden, it got number one. Boom, everybody loving other Joe Box. In the bus, in the bus. And the final one will feel good now, thinking like a dog. Everybody happy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know? Then, then girls then girls, I look for me and say, You're nice. You start catch cartel sneeze. Uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot. I cannot. And by the way, he mentioned. Mentioned you, um, Professor Nutt, yes. as being one of his inspirations. Yes, you yes, know, Carter, uh, yes, yeah, yes. in terms and of I, lyrics and I delivery. I respect him for that. Yes, he yeah. said I was the one who really inspired him. Um, you know, to DJ that way. Yes, yes, and give that kind of versatility. Yeah, yeah versatility. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta tell yeah, you. Yeah, I gotta right. tell you. Yeah. So, so after the inner the bus, mm-hmm. uh, we want to know, you know, who are some of the producers with whom you worked, and when that kind of door opened for you, mm-hmm. how yes. did it change your life? I'm going to take the time signal. No We're talking with Professor Nuts right here, my living legend on Miss Kitty Live on a Pepper Seed Thursday, taking you down memory lane back in the good old days and rekindling those nostalgic memories. <laughs> So all that your construction materials are safe by accessing quality services from the Bureau of Standards Jamaica. Call 876-926-31405. The time by the Bureau of Standards Jamaica is 416. My God, Lord of mercy. The front, you know me just get wrapped. The doctor say what? The mini bus stop. The doctor hold the man and give the man couple stop. Fling him out of the bus, drop him from him neck back. Everybody find bus fear quicker for that way. Inna the bus, inna the bus, eh eh. Inna the bus, them a kick up from bus yes. Inna the bus. Inna the bus, eh eh. Inna the bus, them a fight on a bus. Me take a mini van down nine o'clock. Fi check when a me girlfriend me live back in cat. When me go inna the bus, me say lad me feel hot. Me cause bad what the way the mini bus pop. Me give a girl fall out, lad a what that? You know she see a thing pan a man shot back. She won't go take it off. The man say put it back. Who no want everything? Who no say that man got wet? Inna the bus, inna the bus. Black man got, I gotta tell you, the versatility of the one and only 
Hey, <laughs> Professor Nuts right here yeah. on Miss Kitty Live. Carl Wellington, yes. my very special guest right here. And, you know, we're talking about his music. We're talking about his life. So, Professor, mm -hmm. after that song, uh, you know, Boss, mm -hmm. right? And cemented your name now and get that big break. How did that change your life? And what doors of opportunity opened for you as a result? Well, the stage show door opened right there. Yeah. You know, them start listening and say, boy, we have to get this guy on stage show. So, Leng was the one who, you know, put me on some little show. Like, um, before him keep stinging, he usually keep some show in Brownstone and them places. Mm -hmm. Me and Tiger and everything there. And, you know, it started from there till, be, till I end up doing reggae carnival cinema too. And... It continues from there where I start getting shows. Yeah. That's the beauty of it. I, and at that time, even now, I'm not much of a recording artist. Yes. I'm more a performer. Yes. And, and as you talk about performance, Professor Nuts, when you're on stage, again, that engagement with the audience, that right. kind of stagecraft, how did you hone that? How did you build that? <laughs> because, no, as Nuts, as easy as it seems, you know, it's and a, everybody a, can do that no, someday, you know. No, no. And nowadays, no, I find you're, you're right. that you have more recording the, artists this. and not uh, performing Perform artists. Yes. Because when them go on a stage, them last up there. Area, you know? That's true. Them, the no offer come on the stage, and that is something that you have mastered. Yeah. How you did that? How you integrated that in your performance? So first, first to think about that suppressing nervousness. Yeah. Yeah. To engage a crowd, you don't throw yourself at them. Mm. You bring them to you. I hear boy. Take notes. Yeah. You bring them to you. Yeah. So what you do? You exhale, and you just. Be yourself. Yes. Go in that frame of mind where you say, I'm going to call these people. So you talk to them. Mm -hmm. You make sure of um, some opening words to give them, words of encouragement, that them can be attentive, you understand me, to keep them in total submission. Yes. You just have them there. Yeah. And when them listen to you, especially even when they say, all right, forget the talk, lyrics, and you start to explain certain things through the lyrics yeah them attentively looking at you and you just grip them like that because them expect their a climax at the end of what you're gonna say yes and when you release that end part of the lyrics and the climax bust the crowd it's like there you get them yes right away you can have them in your hand eating like just like that. that just like that but uh, you know the approach you see the approach when you come up on stage, the approach have a lot to do with it. Yes. Because if you're too half key, you know, go, go, and I jump up and, yeah, we have a rag on this. No, 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 no. It now go work, you know, huckle people. <laughs> yeah, no, huckle up no, nobody. Huckle them. Yeah. <laughs> you know, draw them to you. Yeah. Talk to them. What would you say has been, uh, when you think about it, when you look back at your catalog, look at your level and uh, different performances, mm -hmm. which, which was the best one or most memorable one for you? I have a lot, you know. Remember mm. when we make Elephant Man and Cartel hug up backstage up, up, <laughs> up a sentence. Mm -hmm. Yeah, when I made that, I get a joke there. That was one of the memor memorable ones. And, um, but my memorable one was the night when Bagger Brown. Yeah, of blessed memory. Oh my yes. God, that's my friend. Yes. Was um he was the MC for, for the Demby. Mm -hmm. Remember that show? Yes. Demby. 24th of December time call everybody at Trimble up to Gregory Isaac and I can say it again Gregory Isaac yeah. the people then turn up on mm -hmm. the way then call people yeah. in a old jacket me don't know the old barrel then go get you out <laughs> and then hug up then home and a Trimble don't have me up in. everybody go up there it's like no sound out of the people them and Miss Kitty mm -hmm. I was a bit nervous that yeah. night because I said, wonder what's reception. When I went, went back about and said, ladies and gentlemen, Professor not not even up. If you drop a pin a year, do you hear the people then call? Yes. <laughs> and you hear me what's what go up there? This is what I'm talking about, performance. We just walk go up there and look at them serious and say, look here. When I start tonight, I don't want to hear, Kim, see me on the door, accept me by making any nice coming up here. I don't want to know make no nice when me start talk. Okay? Mm-hmm. Me say, any owner, any owner make no nice for, the, for them lyrics here. 
I'm going to keep you in total suspension until another show. Never. You know, we'll never hear the rest of these lyrics. Yes. And you know the lyrics are careful or whatever. Yes. Jesus. It's the first night I did that. Was at Dembe. Yes. And you see when me reach a part of my old man say, mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. <laughs> Mr. the people, them, f- half of them get fat because I tell them they're laughing you know, about the side where me now see big so yes. and them serious so because they want to hear the rest of me. Yes. The place go rogo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Professor Me Dodd. say people have to run, people run go to do have to pay coming back, you know. Yes. Man, cause some of them have to pay two times because it's stampede stuff. Yes. You lock the show. That was one of the Big, that wasn't a foul, it was an impact. Oh, wow. You know, that impact when a, when a bomb drop on your ear. Yes. Then it create that impact. That's, I mean, just turn up and look at them. Back at Brown, about half an hour to five to five minutes, mafia, the link up the one there. Peter, Patricia, um, says she run left and you run right. <laughs> <laughs> Professor Dutt, we have some clips, uh, some performances here uh, mm-hmm. on my show. Damien, let's hear them. Okay. And then you tell me if you remember um, any of these. Professor Nuts, my very special guest right here on Miss Kitty Live. When I vote, say, all of the yeah. girls them, we are taking them friend man. You see the friend, this is what you say to the girl. The girl will take away your man. Look at her and say, how will you say? Cry. No boss, no sweat, no sweat, no boss. The girl can't get your nervous. Yes. Oh no. <laughs> we never want to see. Yeah. Are you going to play low? In the top? No. No boss, no sweat, no sweat, no boss. The girl can't get you nervous. Yes, them one take your man and a plan to come dust. I never know that you get so serious. How you see? No boss, no sweat, no sweat, no boss. The girl can't get you nervous. Yes, them one take the man and a plan to come dust. I never know that you get so serious. Girl, you no favor no pirazo monkey. You no favor Sri Lanka babu. <laughs> What is a Sri Lanka baboo? All right, from you know that country. Yeah. Sir, no, sir, you know we cry for you. You don't feel about a monkey. You don't feel about a Sri Lanka baboo. Oh my goodness! No sweat, no sweat, no sweat, no boss. No girl can't get me nervous. No boss, no sweat, no sweat, no boss. No girl can't get me nervous. I gotta tell you, no nervousness. Which other one do we have, Damien? Once on the morning, bright and early, me get up and say yes, me. I go run, go run and see. When me look across the room, guess what I see? The same pretty girl. Girl does a muggle palm me, you may not in a me mind, me happy get she. If she a dog, me bones to catch flea. Me brush off my hand and brush off my knee and go over to her and count one, two, three. I say, My God, what a man wicked is. She said, Oh, me say your husband, the gang and spree. And left you have to walk and kill yourself. He must say you are hundred percent pedigree. Then you need a room, you let. Me brush off my hand, me brush off my knee, and go over to her and count one, two, three, and say, My God, what a man be kidding. She said, Oh, me say your husband be gone and spree. And left you have to walk and kill yourself. He knows he say you are hundred percent pedigree. Baby, you need a room, you like me. If you do sit down and put your palm dresser like a figure to the big Sunday. Me brush off my hand, me brush off my knee, and go over to her and count one, two, three, and say, My God, what a man wicked is. She said, Oh, me say your husband will go and spree. And left you have to walk and kill yourself. He him not say you are hundred percent pedigree. Baby, you need a room, you like me. If you dust it down and put your palm dresser like a figure. See the big Sunday, you should all down and see a muggle in a French cut on the almond tree. Mr. She blush on me here. She saw me. He said, Yes, baby, love. When last, I feel free. Make her help you carry the bag. Now, hope you agree for make with this cost matters over two cup of tea. In our house, Mr. Dung in the sea. Little after that, she start drinking the tea. She get up like the door with the key. My hand start shaking. Don't mention me. Here, I know. Oh, you're so nervous, man. Mr. No, I know that. What about your husband? She said, Oh, big John, him gone to okay, man. And I think him go left from this to England. When she says, So, my heart go down, bam. Rust and wake is the tension. Little after that, she start rub down my hand. Me just fling when my pants don't even know where it land. 
Hey, see the press details. Conditions apply. I gotta tell you, the one and only professor does. Yes, and yes. that's what I'm talking about. You yes, see, old man used to look woman uh, back then. Yeah, man, you know, make me blush. Yes, see, old man used to look woman back then. Shante, no out of orderness, no rudeness, no. just be a relics. Yeah, not lyrics. Like relics. relics. You understand? Relics. Professor Nuts in my studio this oh, afternoon. Uh, and by the way, no, uh, that was uh, back in 1991, Border Clash. And the, the clip before that mm-hmm. was when you performed at All School Jam in Montego, Montego Bay. Bay. Oh. Well, let me get to the Magnum Kings and Queens uh, performance. I have something. Let me see if you like this or you remember mm, this. Really? Ever done. I... Like how you come out here with your presentation, all your dress and everything that that's a dance hall dressing, but you don't have to come with the weaky type of lyrics. I mean, no, you're supposed to have some stronger li- money we want, and it, it kind of sounds a bit repetitive to me. Just you know, over and over, we want your punch at this stage of the competition. You have to go harder. I'm looking to see better from you next time, please. Police! 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 Rogue respect! Police! That's right. Well, let me. So, the, the, the doors no. open for you. Performances yes. galore. Mm-hmm. Uh, you're on stage and you always maintain that level of intelligence and dignity um, you. in your performance. You. And I want to congratulate you on that because you've never descended. Mm-hmm. Whenever you're not in a mix up, how did you stay away from the professor notes and just maintain your professionalism and your dignity and, you know? Um, kiss it. You ask a very serious question. Staying away yeah. from 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 all the animosities. Yeah. I try my best. Don't get in no confrontation with nobody. I try my best. Yeah. Do not debate certain people because some of them is very illiterate. Mm-hmm. And when you debate them, it becomes physical. Yeah. I try my best to just be in a little corner by myself. I try my best to respect everybody. Yeah. Go on with a smile. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. Yeah. That's, that, that's what's keeping me. Yeah. Respecting up to the dog. Yeah. Miss Kitty. Yeah. Don't try to diss nobody. Or, you understand me? Yeah. I go on like you're above anybody because they put you on a pedestal. Yeah. No. No. Who would you say has been the most influential or impactful person, uh, you know, artist-wise, producer-wise, in your career? Initial stage, it would be Nicodemus. Nicodemus. Yes. I'm good to think about it. He's Wellington. Did you know that? No, I didn't. Nicodemus is Wellington. I heard that he's my cousin. Oh, wow. In my ranking, Trevor, is Wellington. Mm-hmm. Can you imagine that? See that? So there's some musical trend on the line, but it look like me, Gandhi, far, <laughs> far from <laughs> it. <laughs> um, influential, there's a lot. Even Yellow Man. Yeah. Even Yellow Man. And you see that Bounty Killer? Mm-hmm. Cup shot. Remember me? They say you, the, the aggressiveness. No, may I tell you? Sasko, you know them. You they, they, there's something that that about them that does keep me alive. Yeah. Say yes, continue being an artist. Yes, yes. No, you know it's not. It's not that they are influence that they are the big influence. You know, them just create an impact. Yes. On me, that me say no. A DJ them, I respect them people. Yeah. Nice. We're talking to Professor Nuts this afternoon right here on a pepper seed Thursday, taking you down memory lane uh, back in the good old days and listening to some ton up tune. You know what I mean? When man are relax, girls, they're not all mine. Right here on Nationwide 90 FM Team Revolution. We're going until 5 o'clock. Don't go anywhere because I get looking at Professor Nuts business into the nitty gritty where we get up. I need get to go back. home. From the break, <laughs> Miss Kitty Live on the one and only Nationwide 90 FM.
Yeah, yeah, wanna die, go look here on our bun. Miss Kitty Live, they show on 90 FM. Showtime, one of the baddest rhythm ever made. You know what I'm saying? It's Miss Kitty with DJ Calico on a pepper seed. Thursday, Professor Nuts, the living legend, the icon, dance or music artist in my studio right now. And I gotta tell you, just listening to the songs, listening to his message, listening to his story is so important, so motivating. And I gotta tell you, you know, when your art clean and when your lyrics clean, a way does have a professionalism and you approach your craft with seriousness, dedication, and commitment. Let me tell you, your longevity will always be there. Your legacy will always be there. And no matter what kind of star I keep out a door, you'll always be relevant. He's right here in my studio this afternoon on a Pepper Seed Thursday, and I'm so grateful. So, Nuts, mm -hmm. short time redeem. Mm -hmm. You remember what you record a song there? Somewhere up in 90, some 96, 97. 96, 97. Yeah. So you think you can do it live right now? You remember the lyrics, Sam? By the way, Nos, how do you mm. remember so many lyrics? How you do that? How you do it? Mm. <laughs> I don't know. You don't know? All right, all right. All right, all right. All right, Calico, I don't know. I don't know. All right, here we go. Calico, more you turn up the rhythm, right? I right? remember see how much song Nuts can DJ. Panda rhythm, right? Tessa, so, mm. live on Miss Kitty Live. Inside a thing called Pepper. Seed Thursday, I present to you none other than the iconic living legend, Professor Nuts. Hey, hey, hey. A man forgot to empty himself. Hey, hey, hey. And don't go like the back upon a shelf. Hey, 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 hey. Miss Kitty. Everybody want money to start a business. Only that a father gotta make every man live we want money, and we want it right now. Me know me I go get it, but don't ask me how. Money, no got food, but can run. Easy if you go away, and so hard if come. Money, say me just did have some, and as me queen so boob, so it done, yo. When a man not have no money, it's a bag of problem. Come to you to borrow your money, and you decide for lend. Now when you lend that your money, you know spot that again. When you do book him up, him I go tell your fam when. But Daniel the day in an alliance then. Jesus born in a Bethlehem. Adam rape even she have children. Barry G. Vice sound good for FM. Hallelujah, make up, she broke up. Amen, ta, amen, taking secret and I tell pastor them lamp. I'll kill dog, run a cat, burn pen. I'll know him no mention. And the money where you lend me wa How I do it, man. Rock on, rock on, rock on, rock on, rock on. Next show, next show, rock on, rock on, rock on. Rock on spec. Don't make me get mad. Rock on spec. Get mad. Don't make me get mad. Get mad. Not get mad. My better get mad. Professor, not get mad. Miss Kitty, like get mad. Yes, sure. Get mad. Kitty, them say. Don't put your thing in that thing there. Try to find out where they're in there. Don't you commit them the sin there. Don't miss Kitty, you won't where we tell them. Don't use your land that thing there. Make hell go pop loose where the chin there. Do not eat them the things the chicken there. Don't profess or not. Well, I don't know me, say don't. I want my brethren say what? You want no fee me, daddy boy, you can't tell me that. I better you did say me fee low chicken, but, but you can't tell me say nothing on the pork. Me say, yo, that you right. Him say, you a idiot, a girl a part on him tap and say, who do not see that? Tell him back up all that with all a bone, a carrot and just a whopping nine patty, who da eat all the frog. Don't put the thing in at that thing there. Try to find out where they in there. Don't you commit them the sin they don't Professor not you won't Don't is not a noun, it's not a verb or an adjective, it's not a conjunction Don't is not a phrase, a singular, not a plural It is a contraction Contraction mean you shorten two words, turn that in a diminution Diminution, tap your nice young yeah, man because don't say no understand Just do not do what you're not to do Cause if you Sweet, all I put my be careful. I gotta tell you, the one and only Professor Nuts live and Miss Kitty live. Blessed, not no more, not no less. Oh my God, thank you, my baby. Thank you so very much. And so are you, blessed and highly favored, right here on Nationwide. So Nuts outside of music tell me about your life uh you know children wise your grandfather now mm -hmm. uh how is that with you well being a grandfather is a is a blessing you know yeah. if you see that little new kimisha 
my daughter named Kim, you know. Yes, yes. Hi, like, Kim. One, one little extension of, of my Kim. Yes. And you know what? You, you know, through me, I go on like me young and all them things. And I me tell you, say, me I catch cartel. Yeah. And I me see the girls, them. And me, oh, baby. Like Barry White, and them <laughs> ears, and the fence, and them things. And all me here next door. Grandpa! You know, mash up my life. And yeah. All them thing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Come and go on like me young, see you. Yes, yeah. yes. But anyway, it's nice to have a grandchild, and you know. Keeping up with all them little present and everything that it's it's sure it's so inspiring. Yeah. But and when the you, life. Yes, the life. The, the life now what you're asking me about now. Throughout this whole pandemic thing now, mm. me have to dip on a down low, you know, everything yes. crash. Yeah. Yeah, this is what it look then now, everything mm. crash. Yeah. For entertainment. So we have to be picking around the edge of the bulla. Yes. Yes. You understand? Yes. Me? And be circumspect with it too. That's right. That's right. You understand me? Yes. Remember the traveling thing? You know? Yes. You can't travel in, but it's not nice to travel like yes. Because the hustling at yes. the airport, yeah. the whole heap of juke, they something up in your nose and where it's not nice again. So I try to keep a low proof. Yes. Where life is concerned now. That's yes. why. Me, me even though if I have to go past Facebook, I do not deal with my Facebook something. Nice. Then, you know, me just try to keep a low profile and just exhale. Yes. Let all of this pass. Ride the wave. What, what do you do to relax? Keep yourself relaxed. Keep yourself motivated. What do you do for fun? I am a record collector. Okay. I collect old vinyl. Okay. And every day, I would sit down every day and play around with my you know, cross reference yeah fine tune find the rhythm compatible rhythm so i use that to keep my mind it's music you know yes and i have my old turntable oh, wow. leave me alone with the technique <laughs> 1200 whatever i won't even go there Whatever. yeah and you know me start up my record that's what i keep the motivate my mind at daytime or you know sometimes I don't go to bed till like five o'clock a man and sit on a full on record that's it that's one you know sometimes you have some old cd some old cassette because right now we have so many cassettes with with stuff on it some show where never nobody know them show them wow they have cassette with songs on it that nobody ever, ever heard mm -hmm. so i'm trying to find them back yes you know and then Put them down on CD or whatever and Tom Drive, you know, trying yes. to get them. Um, would you, would you, 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 you had only one album, uh, Make It Again, Can you uh, right? Can you and you have another uh, boss album, yeah, another boss album, right? Uh, would you, are you thinking about mm. doing another one, compiling some of your other music? Of course, maybe I've really put album, man. You see, if you ever go, go look at it in my uh, bed when I draw the photo album, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. album. oh, you mean record? Re record. <laughs> you, know, you know what? Let me just share it here for now. And just take the time signal right yes, here. Okay. <laughs> Very well. So, yes. yeah. not the photo album, album though, okay, but the okay. record. Record. Yes. Yeah, I think I'm doing another album still. You know, um, you know, me, me always, me always, I write a little lyrics here and a little mm. lyrics there. You know, but I'm so conservative. You know, me really, really put out the yeah. you know, new thing. Is Is there any artist that you want to work with that you have not yet got the chance to work with? I am with? not much of a collaborator. Yeah. Yeah. But I would. You understand me? If if a um, certain artist maybe need a collab, I may consider it. Okay. I may consider it. It's not a problem for me to do, you know. Yeah. You understand? Because me, uh, me and Sasko did do Rogo that. Yes. Remember yes, that? yes, yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. Big up Agent Sasko. Yeah. So outside of your record collection, uh, can you cook? Do you cook? Are you a man? You're far from your kitchen or you're near to your school? Hello. 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 Cook. Yes. If I ever bust a rice and peas, see you, see you lick all your ears. <laughs> you know me. I don't know your tongue. <laughs> slap your ears and come back around. Oh my God! Let tell you about that the rice and peas. Yes, it's like it's like um something to new that 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 give them new trend. Yes. every time I cook is a new trend thing. Them want daddy and I cook rice and peas. I've been antagonized by by that. Yes, yeah, but I can cook. Nice. Yes. So that, your rice and peas are famous for rice and peas. Let me tell you something. Once you are a road youth, yeah, you have to learn the ways of the world by. Cooking, you have to wash for yourself, cook for yourself. You understand me? Yes. No, we keep yourself. Yes, you have to know. We know if we cook, wash, clean. We know if we do everything. Yes. I am a jack of all trade. I can do plumbing. I can do. I'm, I'm a technician. I can fix amplifiers. I oh, can wow. do this. anything. Yeah. And um, 
I feel good with myself knowing that I can do it. The only thing me can do is have baby. Yeah. <laughs> I leave that to Miss Kitty. Yeah. Uh, Sweet. My home is under my ribs. My home is under my ribs. Yes. <laughs> Professor, that's yes. the only thing you can do is have baby. <laughs> but me can do everything else in the world. Yeah. And a man must versatile them way there. Yes. Yeah, you have to learn to support me and Miss Kitty there now, boy. Mm. I don't want nobody to get jealous when Miss Kitty is shining the back up. <laughs> <laughs> and Miss Kitty, enough, Miss Kitty can't get up to go to the kitchen. I'm supposed to be able to do it. I'm supposed to can cook something properly for Miss Kitty. Truly. Agreed. I'm supposed to can wash Miss Kitty too. True. But you have some man say, I nah, wash no woman. Whatever, whatever. But you know that if it's your home and maybe you can't help do that. Definitely. Because I, I always I always find the, uh, that very ironic because mm-hmm. women always wash will wash for a man mm-hmm. everything. Mm-hmm. But yet, you know, there's a problem to wash everything for us. No, so, yeah. And we as women, we uh, don't say, Oh, uh, if him sick, we just uh, wash it. So if yeah. I can wash for you, why can't you wash for yeah, me? You know, why do you have to put a once, caveat? Yeah. Yeah. And 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 the man the quickest one for tear off the part. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Before I go yeah. down the road. That's right. Yeah. Mr. Wellington, come back from this one. It's sweet. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh my goodness. I got to tell you. It is definitely a pleasure to have you here yes, on my show. Oh, God. And it's, come and talk to me about Magnum. Because not only are you an artist, as I mentioned, yeah. but you are also Grabsy. Tell oh. me about that time. Grabsy. Grabsy. Yes. That me character. And me and my crew. Me and Grabsy. Me crew. Respect I mean, to hype and the crew. Yes. Man. How did that, uh, you know, how did you get involved in acting? And what did that do for your career? And I didn't know that I had so much of that performing arts in me. I, you know, me never go to school for no performing arts. Wow. And it's like something that does develop. You know, I developed that are adapted from somewhere. When I called me and said, at the part there's grabs him. I say, let me try. Mm-hmm. And it was right on the button. Bam. Yes. You embodied the pro- grabs. The producer said, I love that. Yeah. The movement, the action, the, you know, so I tried to put out my best in yeah. that in the Miami crew thing there. Yes. And improvise a little too. Yes. Yes. Yeah, like all the part when I get out the money and say, all right, this is fifty thousand. I right, start check it. I say, but if you check it, it's forty five. Yeah. <laughs> And also, Magnum Kings and Queens of Dance Hall. Uh, what was that period like for you? 11 years oh. on TV, uh, going all across Jamaica, oh, uh, getting the artists on stage. What was that like for you? And to see Kitty. the artists, you know, perform. The, you see the part where you have to get up, not even the, every Saturday, you know. Mm-hmm. When you figure to recruit the soldier then. Yes, the auditions. Yes. Now we care about it that really hard. Mm-hmm. Hard Ishan. Mm-hmm. Kitty. See, just if you get up to do the audition and know that you're gonna meet certain people. You're gonna you're gonna it's like a warrior go when you go audition. Yes. You know? Going to Magnum on Saturday night, sitting with Miss Kitty and Scatter, it's more a relaxing thing. Yes. And you can exhale and really. But you see the audition, yes. to get them, then know the different, different yes. writing up and the, you have to be deliberating and. De- no, that's. Rough. Kitty, because see sometimes you stress out. Yeah, bad. Bad. You stress out, you know, <laughs> but we have to do it. Yes. So it's a dirty job, but somebody. No. I enjoy my Magnum years. Yes. It was one of the best things to me. Yes. Ever happened to me and Jamaica. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> wow. No, I'm telling you. Yes. To find the artists behind closed doors and bring them to the forefront. Yes. Oh, my God. And now, two Magnum kind of finish now. Me look like Mr. Magnum Millions. Yeah. Everybody there. And not saying so I'll bring back the show. Now, poor me. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I get it all the time. Yes, yes. Too. and me, I'm finished. Show me yes. and your Magnum Million. Yes, so yes. we must bring back the show. And really, no, um, we'll try to do something if we get the sponsor. Yes, people will try. Miss Kitty is here. I'm here. Scatter is there. We can do something. Yes, you understand me. But it takes money 
effort and time. That's right. But when you even looking at the Magnum contestants nuts and looking at the nowadays artists, what would you say as a veteran in the business are five key ingredients to being a successful artist and an artist with longevity? Because a lot of artists are hot today, then them fizzle tomorrow, them come like false heat, mm. big boss, everything. Yeah. And then next week them die down. What would be your five tips or recommendations to a bit to being a good artist and cultivating a good catalog. Okay, the five tips them. Let me see if we can categorize. Or three, or any months you have. First thing, um, you have to you have to be. Your lyrics have to be potent. Mm -hmm. Don't just with any any little foolishness. You see the water down lyrics. Let me tell you, the nowadays the the, the nowadays you them goes for it. Me not bash nobody, you know. Mm -hmm. But it's be repetitive with one lyrics, you know. Um, it's like, no lyrics, there, there's no background there. Those weak lyrics, now go, that's why your lyrics, them dead quick. Mm -hmm. You don't have no longevity. The weak lyrics is one. Expletives is another. No expletives. Because you are only influencing the mind of the younger generation coming up. Expletives, that doesn't mean, say, I just battled alone. No, gone, gone. Mm -hmm. The whole lipa blew up marrow. This, that, now go work. The youth, then we have come up and go learn that. Yes. I remember, say, the majority of the youth, them right now, we are jumping at the reggae music. We love the reggae music, are Gatorians. Get to you them and them quick for think negative. So if in the lyrics negative, them gain think negative and them gain grow up negative and die negative. Mm -hmm. No gun gun lyrics. I mean, I say you can't say gun gun lyrics, but you can't put that in a special. That's a special thing for sound or whatever. Mm -hmm. Kill sound. Yeah, it's not a problem. I love it. But when you again do and the ear songs. Don't get too wicked under the woman, them. Mm -hmm. Do not do no expletives that the mafia bleep bleep out. Negativities. And remember, potent lyrics will give your songs longevity. No, just not look a weak lyrics. Just, just one step, two step, three step. No, me learned that long time in an ABC book. Mm -hmm. No. Come with some lyrics where you know say it can be like a story. Them can learn something from it. Something that the, the youth them can learn from. You understand me? Elevate the mental capacity of the youth. So please. Please. Okay, please. <laughs> Take time with the music. But pursue good lyrics. Please. Thank you, Rugo sir. Rugo that. Rugo that. I'm a gummy beer. I do do that. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> yeah. Rogo Speck and Nuts what would you like to say to those fans of yours who have been supporting your music who have supported your career supported your performances over the years I love you I love my I love everybody still you understand me people have support me all through these years I, I respect you you know my, my kids Junior and Kim um, Rosano you understand me them them, them motivate me as kids say daddy i like your song and when them like my song me like my music for that yes you understand me so once them inspire me that's they're like my little inspirers you understand me and all those people that encourage me and uh, every day we antagonize me i say notes more i hear more music more i hear more i hear lyrics them out there now i may not forget to know you know man it's coming don't worry Everything cook and curry. That's right, police. 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 <laughs> well, I am pleased <laughs> to have had you on my show, Professor Nuts, and I just want to show you maximum respect, maximum love. Uh, I've been waiting to send call you, you know, because I do want a day. But me say, let me get a day when we can just talk to you the old time car. Oh, God. You have it's so much pleasure. to say, it's a and you have so much to teach, oh, and you have accomplished so much, mm -hmm. and we can learn. Learn from what you've done. Thank so you. I wanted a time when men feel rushed. Uh, you know, mm. rush up just can't mm. suck up, we can't survive. And, mm. You know. Yeah. So I just want to say to you, I wish you all the best. Oh, you look so refined. Must have refined cornmeal. Cornmeal, yes. Refined cornmeal. <laughs> <laughs>
My body good. <laughs> you say my you look, you look, you look, you just look. My ankle lean. You look cute. You look so cute. No cocker bed, no dog bite, no grenade. We're both here to go. No. Nice. Yes, my darling. But I don't want to go mad you. Both you. Sweet, sweet. It takes wit and intelligence to do that, but not. You are valued. You are valuable. We thank you for giving us your creativity, your craft, your art over the years. We hold you in high esteem. We salute you. We just want to big you up and let you know that you have touched our lives in so many ways. And you know, we play your songs here on my show very often. You know, Pepper C Thursday, Kia Nice. If you're a professor, not Snowy Night, you know what I mean? So I wish for you continued health, wealth, and strength and whatever projects on which you're you're working or when you're done with it, yes. I'm always here for you. Mm-hmm. So you can always call on us here at Nationwide. Mm-hmm. And Miss Kitty is always in your corner. So big up yourself. Yes. Lots of love. Much respect. Mm-hmm. And I just want to say salute! I tell you, a living legend. Well, look, you me feel like when you rub puss back and your stomach go somebody somebody please somebody and it was definitely a pleasure yes. uh being working working with you on magnum so not all the best to you and your family uh lots of love lots of respect and yes. best of health Thanks. guys a round of applause for the professor <laughs> yay right here on miss kitty live rules spec you know Thank what i'm saying you. that's you. right jackie are you that what are we are straight two professors there come down here you like things, Jackie? <laughs> me never, you know, no, no, I'm no, um, Jackie. No, I forgot. Jackie, you come by Professor Nance? No, I forgot to the Obama. Thank you. <laughs> thank, thank you. you. <laughs> thank you. And I say thank you <laughs> to Damien Cunningham, my technical operator. Thank you. Thank to you. DJ Calico, my assistant producer, Shante Nikinski, and Joy. Thank you. And thank you <laughs> to all of you for tuning in to Miss Kitty Live for yet another <laughs> edutaining <laughs> afternoon show. Cliff Hughes is up next with the best produced news in the nation led by himself and his hardworking team and they'll take you until 8 o'clock with Nationwide at 5. Until when next you hear my voice, be blessed, take care of yourselves and each other and always remember, never forget, don't focus pa no locus please. Rogo speak! Thanks to my very special guest, Professor Nuts and thanks to all of you. I love you for watching and I love you for listening. Catch you tomorrow, God's willing, for another episode of Miss Kitty Live. Yay! Bye!